What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. So you guys, I am super excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you guys my entire Victoria's Secret and Victoria's Secret Pink body care collection. I have so many things to show you guys from fragrance mist to body lotions to scrubs and body washes. So I'm just gonna get right on into the video because we have a lot of products to talk about Today. So as you guys can tell I'm sitting in front of my shelf with my entire collection on it You guys can only see the Bath and Body Works and this Bath and Body Works collection will also be up on my channel So make sure to go check that out if it's already up and if not stay tuned for it But the Victoria's Secret collection is actually behind me so you guys can't really see it But I'm gonna take everything out to show you guys all the different scents and products that I have I'm gonna start by showing you guys body washes because I have the body washes on the floor because those actually go in my closet in my cart So from Victoria's Secret pink I just have the honey body wash and also the water wash. I really like Victoria's Secret Pink's body washes. They're super moisturizing and they have such a nice lather. These scents are both amazing. This one is super gourmand and smells so good and it looks like honey, which is pretty cool. And this one just smells kind of like an amber scent. It does have an amber note in it. I am obsessed with both of these. I love the packaging of them as well. If you guys wanna hear a more in-depth review of them or explanation of the products, I did recently post a Victoria's Secret Pink body care haul, so make sure to go check that out on my channel. Moving Moving along with body washes. We have a few body washes from the Natural Beauty line from Victoria's Secret. So first I just have the Green Pear and Citrus Refresh Moisturizing Cream Body Wash with Shea Butter. This scent is amazing you guys. It smells super fresh and clean but also a little bit sweet because of that citrus note in there and I am obsessed. They don't sell this scent anymore unfortunately but I love it so so much and their body washes are out of this world amazing. They are so moisturizing and a little bit really does go a long way. We also have the pomegranate and lotus balance one this one is also amazing i love the scent of this one too i love pomegranate scent and lastly from the collection we have the lavender and vanilla relax body wash love this so so much you get a hint of lavender but you also get a hint of vanilla so not only do you get that florally note but you also get that sweet gourmand note and the mix is just amazing if you know you know the lavender and vanilla scents go beautifully together so this is definitely a favorite now moving along to some of the Victoria's Secret shower gels. So if you don't know, Victoria's Secret does have shower gels. They were discontinued and then they bring them back every once in a while. I do not know if they're available on the website right now, but you guys can definitely go check it out. So we just have the Pure Seduction shower gel and the Bare Vanilla shower gel. And then we also just have the Amber Romance shower gel, my absolute favorite Victoria's Secret scent, and the Love Smell shower gel. So they sell them in their basic scents. I think they also have velvet petals, but I don't have that one. And quick review of the shower gels. They are not the most moisturizing moisturizing body washes because they are shower gels they're not body washes um, but they do have a really nice lather and I have to say that the scent on these shower gels are super long lasting and strong which is my favorite part about the products I also love the packaging and they do last pretty long as well even though it is a small bottle it has a good amount of product in it they are a little bit pricey but definitely if you're gonna get them get them during a sale I don't buy anything full price you guys I don't think anything in my collection for Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works is full price so keep that in mind okay so now moving on to body scrubs I I only have a few Victoria's Secret body scrubs, but I'm just gonna show you guys them super quick. So from Victoria's Secret Pink, I just have the water scrub and the honey scrub going along with the body washes. The water scrub is actually a body polish with hyaluronic acid, so this is super, super moisturizing and smells amazing. Again, I said you can go to that video if you want to hear a more in-depth review. And the honey scrub, again, is super, super exfoliating. This is an actual body scrub, so this is a little bit more of a rougher scrub than this one, but they both leave your skin feeling super, super smooth, and the smells are phenomenal. And then I just have two body scrubs from the Natural Beauty line. We have the Lavender and Vanilla Scrub and the Pomegranate and Lotus Scrub. These are some of my favorite body scrubs, you guys. They are foaming body scrubs. They do foam up and get soapy, which I love. So not only do they give you a good scrub, but they also make you feel extra clean, which I absolutely love. And they are such a good consistency. They are definitely not as rough as the treehouse scrubs. So if you don't like how rough the treehouse scrubs are, these would be perfect for you. Um, and if you don't like how gentle the Dove ones are, these ones are right in the middle. So I definitely would recommend picking these ones up. They are super good and I love them so much. They're probably some of my favorite body scrubs. And then I just have this honey oil from Victoria's Secret Pink. It is from the Honey line. It smells super 
super good and it's super moisturizing and it just leaves your skin feeling super glowy I know that they have some other scents of oil so I definitely recommend picking one up but I really like this one it reminds me of actual honey and it has these little like bubbles in it but I don't really know what those do <laughs> okay you guys so I just took out all my Victoria's Secret stuff that is behind me you guys can't even tell because I'm blocking it it's all laid out on my bed next to me so we're just gonna get into it I do want to make it known real quick that I do love getting matching scents for things so if I have the fragrance mist most likely I'm gonna have the lotion as well I know people don't love the Victoria's Secret lotions because they are a little bit watery but I love them for the scent mainly and if they don't if I'm having a day where my skin is feeling extra dry I'll usually moisturize in the shower beforehand also or I'll add an oil into the lotion or I'll put a thicker body lotion on before or after just to make myself a little bit more moisturized however I don't really have an issue with them but if you do have drier skin you can do any of those and I don't really know why I'm like this with why I need matching scents if there's a body wash I'm also gonna have body wash it's just how I am I need to really like stop it because I feel like it's kind of unnecessary but yeah let's just get into this okay okay so the first scent that I have here is aqua kiss I've actually had the lotion for a while now and I haven't finished it but then I picked up the fragrance mist this last year when I started my collection I love aqua kiss you guys it has cool waters bright daisy and it says make a splash this smells amazing it is a super fresh scent but it also is a little bit sweet and florally to it too which I love it smells super mature and I honestly used to not love it but now I like it so much so next up we have pure seduction I am almost out of the lotion but I also have the fragrance mist pure seduction is just a super sweet scent some people think it's a little bit immature because it is a very overly sweet sometimes you kind of have to get used to it but I think it's such a beautiful scent the notes are juice juiced plum crushed freesia all night long I love the plum note in there it's just super sweet and I think this is such a perfect scent for summer like it just smells so so good so fruity and then you can smell that freesia floraliness to it as well I love pure seduction I think it's so pretty but it is one of those scents that I can get a little bit sick of because of how sweet it is next up we have love spell la creme again I am almost out of the lotion which I'm so sad about but I absolutely love love spell la creme I actually used to have the original love spell when I was a lot younger and I think that they smell very similar Similar. Um, I don't really know what the main difference is. This the fragrance notes for this is peach blossom, cashmere woods, and creme de la love spell. That's what it says. Um, I could definitely smell the smell the peach note in this. I'd love to have the notes for the regular love spell to compare them side by side because I don't really smell too much of a difference from what I remember. But if I had them side by side, I could maybe be able to tell. But this just smells so beautiful. It's super sweet. I love it. Next up is my all-time favorite Victoria's Secret scent, Amber Romance. If you watch my channel, you know that I love Amber scent musk scents I absolutely love scents like that and amber romance is just the most perfect beautiful amber scent out there the notes are deep amber sugar kisses and chasing sunsets it has a very nice amber note but it also has a very sweet gourmand note to it too which I love so much it kind of smells like it has a vanilla note in there and it's just so beautiful I never will get sick of this I actually am about to be out of the lotion so I picked another one up because sometimes in my store it's hard to find amber romance lotion so I saw it I picked it up online because I actually needed to add like one more product to get free shipping so I added that to my order so I'm gonna finish this up and then open my new lotion I love me some amber romance you guys so next up we have bare vanilla la creme again like love spell I don't have the original bare vanilla but I do have the original in the shower gels which you guys saw with love spell and bare vanilla so I actually do know what the original smells like which I kind of forgot about but honestly I think they're very similar I think if anything bare vanilla la creme smells a little bit more florally than original bare vanilla bare vanilla the original one just has a very straight vanilla note but it does smell very mature rather than warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works which to me is a little bit more like sweet and sugary and more for like I don't want to call it childish because I still wear it but it's not as like much of like a mature scent as the regular bare vanilla but I love bare vanilla la creme because it does have um, orchid in it so it's decadent vanilla orchid spun sugar and creme de la bare vanilla the la creme line is one of the best lines of Victoria's Secret ever dropped I'm obsessed so next up we have pomegranate and lotus I kind of already talked about this with the body wash and the scrub love this scent so much the lotion for this is actually a 24 hour moisture lotion so I do feel like these lotions from the natural beauty line are a little bit more moisturizing than the typical Victoria's Secret lotion so maybe if you feel like the Victoria's Secret lotions aren't moisturizing enough for you if you pick one of these up you might like it better and I just love the fragrance mist I use this fragrance mist a lot actually with like drugstore products they have a lot of pomegranate scented products and it goes perfectly with them next up we have lavender vanilla again I already talked about this love this scent so so much and I'm obsessed with it I'm not gonna get in detail though again I already talked about it but also from the natural beauty 
beauty line we have green pear and citrus in the lotion and the fragrance mist love this scent so much so these next few scents i'm going to be showing you guys are actually from a line that victoria's secret had out this past winter i don't know how long the line was out for if it has been out in the previous years but i was obsessed with this line i bought three products this is the victoria's secret wonderland woods ice leaves and blooms the packaging is just so gorgeous you guys it is this green color let me see if you guys can get a better look look how pretty that is okay and this is actually a very musky and masculine scent but i love it so so much the notes are snowy pine winter rose where the treetops glisten it definitely has a very outdoorsy and woodsy scent to it but also kind of smells like cologne i love it so much and going along with the same line we have fresh snowfall look at that packaging though it's not really like focusing well but this is so nice it's frosted petals and berries so the notes are sugar peony holly berries and then it says let it snow and this just smells super sweet and pretty and even though it's a winter scent i would actually wear the scent like this in the spring just because of the sugar peony which is like very florally and then also the holly berries is very sweet so i could definitely see this being a spring scent besides the packaging which is very wintry but yeah i love this and lastly from that same line we have moonlight frost this is my favorite one from the line it is so beautiful like oh, it's purple you guys know i love purple and it says crystal floral and woods and the notes are chilled lily white woods all is bright this smells so amazing it's just super florally like like oh my god it's such a floral scent but it's so sweet and it smells so mature this is one of my favorite victoria's secret scents honestly so this is actually one of the original ones i forgot to show up before but this is love addict i'm not too crazy about love addict it's very basic to me it has wild orchids sparkling mimosas and flirt on it's just a super sweet scent i think that this would be a really good summery scent and i like it um i don't use it that much but it's pretty basic again but it's cool so we actually have another one from one of the winter collections this is the only one from this collection that i have but i got champagne petals and the notes for this are crisp champagne frosted berries make it pop it smells a lot like bath and body works champagne toast the only difference to me is that like I feel like this one might smell a little bit more champagne-y like I don't know how to explain it but it kind of reminds me of like a wine smell as well like I don't know if that makes sense and I feel like Bath and Body Works Champagne Toast is a little bit more sweeter and this is more like the mature version of it but again I'm not calling Champagne Toast immature because it is one of my favorite scents ever but I feel like this one is a little bit more like grown up-ish like kind of if that makes sense but the packaging is just so beautiful that I had to pick it up and I absolutely love this scent. So next we have Forbidden Rose and this is just the most beautiful and elegant elegant rose scent ever it smells mature but it's not like moroccan rose where sometimes it kind of smells a little bit too mature um i feel like it smells like the perfect amount for like someone my age it is just such a beautiful deep rose scent like i forget kind of what it smells like like oh my god it just smells so pretty and it's not super florally like overwhelming it says intoxicating rose sultry musk touch of temptation and i definitely can smell the musk in there and i think the combination of the rose and the musk is so beautiful when they put florals and musk together like that is a match made in heaven i love it this is definitely a slept on scent from victoria's secret but a scent that i absolutely adore so for my next scent i have before the rain and this is the packaging it is super pretty i love it these notes for this are rain kissed lilies bright yuzu clean air stills as clouds gather this is the most fresh and clean scent ever it kind of reminds me of an aquatic scent which i guess it says rain kissed lilies so it's kind of florally but it's also such a fresh and clean aquatic scent it is just so beautiful and if you love fresh and clean scents or aquatic fragrances this is going to be the one for you the packaging is gorgeous i absolutely love this line i do have another product to show you from this line as well and that product is beneath the palms and i think with this line they were really going for that fresh and clean scent because this is another one that is so fresh and clean the notes are desert willow aloe water lush greens float on the breeze and it smells super outdoorsy it definitely has a very strong aloe note and i love the smell of aloe because it makes me feel so clean and it's just such a neutral scent i feel like this is not overpowering but it still smells so amazing and it is a little bit of sweetness to it so it's not super like woodsy outdoorsy it has a little bit of like a hint of sweetness to it i really do like this scent a lot it actually reminds me i feel like of another victoria's secret scent i just can't think of what it is so next up we have strawberries and champagne and i'm finally bringing a scent in here that i hate and i can literally say that i hate this scent so much i was so excited about it and i actually bought it when i had covid so when i first got it i made my sister smell it for me because i didn't have my smell and she was like cameron this smells like lysol like like straight lysol i was like what are you serious like i couldn't smell it so i was like maybe you're just smelling it because you're so used to smelling the scent of lysol because we're always wiping everything down and she was like no i swear it smells like lysol so eventually when i got my smell back i smelled it and it smells exactly like lysol you guys i don't know if it's just a specific lysol scent i have or it just literally smells like straight cleaning products but 
like it just oh my god it gives me such lysol vibes but it also kind of smells like a very like older women's perfume not saying that in a negative way at all i just feel like it's not the type of scent that i would personally wear but then i also get that hint of lysol which i think really really throws me off the most about it um it's just not a scent for me you guys might like it it does not smell like strawberries to me at all i guess maybe like champagne but like not a sweet champagne a very like deep champagne the notes are wild strawberry sparkling champagne forever bubbly I don't know. I don't like it. However, from that same line, I have Mango Temptation, and I am in love with this scent, you guys. I love mango scents, and this is just super sweet and tropical smelling. It goes amazing with Tree Hut's Tropical Mango. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the packaging. I do have to say they nailed it with the packaging on this collection. I know that these are much older scents, and they just recently brought them back, but guys, it's beautiful. The notes are Mango Nectar, Hibiscus Flower, and Paradise Found, and it literally just smells like paradise in a bottle. Next, we have Secret Sunrise. It says Tropical Berry and Freesia, and the notes are Sunlight berries pink puddles your eye on island time this smells super fruity and super florally literally reminds you of like being on an island oh i just love it so so much because you get that really sweet berry scent and then you get that like freesia scent after and it's just so pretty this is going to be one of my favorite summer scents i already know on vacation all that good stuff and from that same line is golden sands i am raving over this scent right now you guys it says solar amber and sea salt and the notes are warm amber salty air step onto the sand this is the most gorgeous scent ever if you love amber it literally smells like amber romance with a little bit of fresh and clean scent added to it so it smells not as like warm and like gourmand as amber romance because i feel like i get a very gourmand note from amber romance but this smells more like a like a tropical amber scent like it reminds me of like kind of like a sunscreen scent but not like a bad smelling sunscreen mixed with like an amber i would literally wear this scent on the beach on a hot summer day look at the packaging too like i wish you guys could see it better with the lighting Oh my god, it's just so pretty. I love the yellow. Then we just have Velvet Petals Radiant. I definitely want to pick up more products from the Radiant collection because I'm obsessed with this one. The watermelon note is beautiful. It smells super sweet and summery. The notes are bright watermelon, kiwi burst, velvet petals gets glowing. I love this so much. I talked about it in a recent video. I definitely recommend trying this one out. So if you guys don't know, I do not have many Victoria's Secret pink body care items. So I'm just kind of starting up my collection. So I only have a few things and I already talked about the scent but we have the fragrance mist and the lotion for the waterline and it just smells super amazing so the notes are salty driftwood solar amber and warm sand and it actually smells kind of similar to golden sands but a little bit more of like a fresh and clean aquatic fragrance to it rather than just that like warm like beachy scent you know I'm really bad at explaining scents and I'm really trying to up my game with that so bear with me but I really do love this scent I know some people don't like it I think if you do not like amber scents you're probably not gonna like this but I am obsessed with amber Amber, so if you're also obsessed with amber, I definitely recommend this. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, we just have the Honey Lotion and the Honey Mist. I am obsessed with the Honey line. The notes are Honey Drizzle, Purple Dahlia, and Whipped Vanilla. You can 100% smell the honey and vanilla because it smells super, super sweet, like so sweet. It's super gourmand, so if you don't like super sweet scents, you probably will not like this, but I can kind of get that florally scent from Purple Dahlia. Like, I can kind of get it a little bit. I think that's something that's cool about the Honey line is that it would be such a good winter scent, but also such a good summer scent because that florally and sweetness could be super good for the summer and the spring but it can also be good for the winter because it's very like warm and cozy vibes and like baking cookies type of vibes like literally like you have something baking in the oven like cupcakes I don't know because it's super gourmand I really love this scent I'm super happy that I finally picked it up people were telling me to pick it up for so long and I finally got it all right you guys so that is it for my entire Victoria's Secret and Victoria's Secret pink body care collection I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this one and if you did like this video, make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.